I appreciate you both uh, coming in and providing your insights as well. I have some, some other important guests here, and we had them scheduled. <laughs> we were gonna, we're laughing because we were gonna talk about some lighter stories in the news, but this is big breaking news. Uh, Nan Hayworth, Susan Lee, and Maddie Dupler. Maddie, st starting with you, what do you make of this news? Well, I think that everything that's been mentioned today is really the point, which is that we need to be judicious, we need to have expectations of media, and we need to be able to question when people are going to get the story wrong, why they got it wrong. Now, the question, of course, moving forward is what does BuzzFeed do in the wake of this? Is it a mea culpa? Do they say that, you know, we got some things wrong and we'll do better? Or do they double down and continue to defend a story that they said just a few moments ago was true? Uh, Susan, what your thought well, is, being of course, a journalist, on it. Yeah, being a journalist, you have to have your sources right. You have to depend on them. And it's not just one source. You better have one, two, even three to back up the same story. And there is reputational risk. I mean, look what happens to BuzzFeed. Is anyone going to believe them from now on? Mm -hmm. right. Nan? Well, speaking as a former member of Congress, I mean, this reflects and journalism has never been so biased, has never been so hair trigger uh, in favor of one party and against another uh, as they are now. And I'm just glad that there are journalists out there who will report uh, the actual story okay, instead so of jumping on a bandwagon. Let me just reset. Uh, this is Ed Henry filling in for Martha McCallum tonight. We've had breaking news. The special counsel, Robert Mueller, authorized his office to issue a very, very rare statement. Uh, they say this on the record. BuzzFeed's description of specific statements to the special counsel's office and characterization of documents and testimony obtained by this office regarding Michael Cohen's congressional testimony are not accurate. So bottom line, you remember the BuzzFeed story, which broke late last night uh, and sparked countless news stories uh, and news analysis that appears now to be untrue, uh, based on what the special counsel is saying, that the president allegedly directed that man there, Michael Cohen, his former lawyer, to lie to Congress. The White House sharply denied it. Rudy Giuliani, the president's uh, attorney last night, said, I've got, if you want to believe Michael Cohen, I have a uh, bridge in Brooklyn uh, that you can buy. And a lot of people in the media laughed at that statement and said he's not really denying it. There was a more forceful statement from Rudy Giuliani today, sharply denying it, saying this was not true. Quickly, I want to come back to my panel here and, and get everyone. Uh, Maddie, hearing that, I think it's very significant that it was not a statement saying, some of the report mm -hmm. is not true. It's saying specifically the documents, meaning the story hung on the idea that it was not Michael Cohn's word versus the president. It hung on the idea that there were emails, text messages, documents that would prove the president is lying right. and Michael Cohn is telling the truth. Right. The special counsel is saying no. It was decisive. And so now we need to see the report. How long has the special counsel been going on? And for how many months have we been promised an end to it? I think the fact that the special counsel came out so brazenly with this uh, with this statement shows that they really are produ they're producing a product that I think think uh, will be decisive in its own accord, but we need to see it. Enough is enough to have this going on for months and months. All right, time. quick point, Susan, for us. And ongoing questions to BuzzFeed because their journalists appeared on other stations today being asked over and over again, do you trust your sourcing? Do you have the material to back it up? Over and over again, they said, we've seen the emails, we've seen the text messages, everything proves that our well, story is true. Well, they suggested that they hadn't seen all the evidence, but that their sources were representing it to them. Mm -hmm. And Susan, it but seems like... But they were pretty a, adamant about it, right? Why you need to see the evidence. To be right. sure. It's yeah. not journalism, it's rumor mongering, Ed, and we'll all bear in mind that BuzzFeed was the first to publish the dossier right. that has been thoroughly discredited. Which was unverified then, is largely exactly. unverified now, as we report to you night, tonight, live from New York. Nan, Susan, and Maddie, I appreciate you all coming in. Uh, this is Ed Henry. I've been sitting in, uh, of course, for Martha McCallum. We are going to be on top of this breaking news story all evening. I'll be back tomorrow morning, 6 a.m. Eastern, for Fox and Friends. As